or turnover, it just gives you such a lift in your energy. You feel good about what you're about to do, and usually you're able to take it down and score. And it's now second down and five after running it on first down. The catch is made and picks up maybe three or four. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed the pass, but it still did not get a first down. Winston's completion percentage, 60% on the day. They better hurry to get the snap. Jackson's got the catch and the first. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. you got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Almost intercepted that time. Defense has ruled today's game, Phil. Yeah, the defense is dominating, and I'm going to be honest, it's fun to watch. Every once in a while, I like to see the offense take a beating. This, the NFL, it's all about the offense. It's nice to see the defense dominate. Second and ten. Vincent Jackson on the deep throw, and he knocks the ball out of his hands. Great situation to be in for the defense right here. It's third long, and even though their team is losing the game, you can get after the quarterback and hope you can find a way to force a turnover. The Buccaneers come to the line with a bunch set. Evans had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the secondary player. He's in position and able to uh, make the football be incomplete. And he punts it, and it's going to sail out of bounds. Try to play kick away from that dangerous returner. The Titans, and I have to wonder, 
where are they going to be mentally after that last drive when they were moving the football only to give it away on an interception? How are they going to be out there on this possession? Well, I think it's tough. I, I really do, Jim. You know, nowadays, quarterbacks, it seems like all we judge them on, do they throw interceptions or not? And once you throw one, it's out there. You've got to get over that mental block, and you've got to keep playing hard and aggressive football. That's the only way you can have success. He's averaging about three yards a carry on the day. Every quarterback hates a situation like this. You're down the football game, and you got third long, but you must be thinking, don't turn it over. So don't force the situation by trying to throw one in there in tight coverage. If they're not open, throw it short. Third down now. with this snap finds Walker and he's going to be tackled and that's going to bring us to fourth down getting late in the fourth and this offense is running out of time to grab the lead in this game can their defense get them the ball back yeah pressures on the defense can they give their offense one more chance they've been solid on the defensive side today I think they can get it done To a halt and a run back of only a yard. Well, only a couple yards that time by the punt returner. Good defense by the punt coverage team. They get down their speed, they hustle, they're all around him, and they only give up a couple yards. Close game right now, partner, and you look at the matchup at running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. Winston's lined up, no extra blockers for this snap. Finds his mark. And a gain of four. Good job that time by the quarterback. You got a lead in the fourth quarter. Don't take chances. Nobody open down the field. So he throws it short and he gets a completion. The Titans with two extra defensive backs in the dime. Winston's going to take the snap from the shotgun. The grab is made by Jackson. That's his fourth catch of the day. Well, the drag route that time picked up solid yards. These receivers. Sometimes they get a little nervous running these drag routes or these short crossers because they are afraid so a defender is going to come out of nowhere and hit them. That's the quarterback's job. See in front of the receiver, lead the guy to the open space. When you're backed up against your own end zone, I think it's up to the coach to call some plays that catches the defense by surprise. They did it that time, and they got a big first down. First and ten. Martin's got it on the toss. Brought down at the 20. The Buccaneers really got it going now. They got confidence. They got momentum. They got a small lead here in the second half. And that first down, what does it do? It just gives the offensive coordinator confidence. And, of course, this quarterback, he is always ready to go. time left in this one and it's now or never time for this offense and they're coming onto the field off the interception yeah I think the situation just makes them play a certain way you get late in the game and you're losing you got to be aggressive and take chances I believe they will do that he's averaging about three yards a carry on the day well that was a nice run that time off tackle and listen this is a bread and butter play in the NFL it's about power running can your offensive tackle make the block to free up that running back so he has a chance to get in that secondary and make a nice run out of it. We're drawing near a close, and the defense is trying to preserve the victory. Carter's all over the ball carrier, trailing every third down so big at this point. Good job by the offense going to hurry up offense. You do this to get the plays in, but also you want to conserve the timeouts. First down. Pressure on every snap now. The defense here must not panic. They know that they're going to be facing this hurry up offense, a team that's desperate. Yeah, that's all the way home just in time. A late touchdown. What a way.
way to finish off that two-minute drill by scoring on the ground, but there's still plenty of time left. This game is far from over. There he is. Nice play call, running that football in. That caught the defense by surprise. And then the other team, hey, the other team, they've been working on their two-minute offense also. This is going to be an exciting finish. Takes it from the two. And the tackle's made right around the 25-yard line. Martin's looking determined as he heads back onto the field for what is essentially a do-or-die situation for this offense. Look, this running back has so much talent. You've got to keep giving him the football, and if you give it to him enough, I think he'll find a way to win the game for him. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. They're changing things here. The quarterback changing. He's, he's giving the receiver some new instructions. Comes down with no. The defender tips it out. Bill, it's third down. They are in four-down territory, and the defense knows that. Yeah, and it, you get a situation like this, Jim, on the defensive side, you need one of your pass rushers to come through and get on that quarterback. Running back in motion here. Third and ten. Down the field. And he comes down. No, the defender tips it out. It's another big stop here for this defense on third down in the fourth quarter. Well, now the big play comes, Jim. Fourth down. What are they going to do on the, on the defensive side? I say this. Don't sit back and react. I would attack. I would blitz the offense here on fourth down. What a catch. The Buccaneers are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Now on first down. Every snap crucial the rest of the way. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Winston's got it in the gun. Look at that concentration as he makes the grab. Third catch today so far. Second down late in the fourth quarter. Second down and five. Down the field. Michael Griffin with the interception. 